Are you looking for the ultimate protection for your firearms? Amsoil Firearm Lubricant and Firearm Cleaner provide the most protection. In the ASTM salt fog test, Amsoil showed no corrosion on the test results. All right, guys, so this is the Rock Island that I've been working on for a while. I've got everything pretty much done to it now. Got all Wilson combat parts. Got a Wilson mag in here right now. Got a few other ones to run through it. Uh, we got the uh, Wilson safety, the beaver tail there, the hammer, the slide uh, stop there, trigger, mag well. Um, I did have a couple stainless screws, so that worked out good just to add a little more stainless to it. Uh, and this is the, the recover. You know, this is the Phantom Gray, which is like a, an off black, really, seems like. But uh, I like it a lot. Spent a lot of time on it. Each each of these parts, uh, they are drop-in parts, but they all still have to be hand-fitted. Uh, the slide stop did just drop right in. I didn't have to do anything to it. But the safety required a pretty good bit of work. I did everything the old school way. I didn't use a Dremel or nothing. I used all little tiny files working in each part and they're just trying it and trying it over and over again. Uh, the beaver tail had to have a little bit of work. The magwell pretty much slid right in. I didn't have to really do anything with it very much. Uh, the trigger required a little bit of work, polishing it, sanding it down to get it where I wanted and then get it adjusted. And, I, and I've got this trigger uh, worked out really, really nice. So if you look, the trigger here, it's got a little bit of take up and then it just breaks super nice. And then the reset, very little pop again. I mean, it's a, it's a very clean trigger. Um, really this trigger feels as good as my Kimber to me. Not as good as uh, a, a, a real Wilson or a Nighthawk or something like that, but it's a really good trigger. But uh, 1911s have great triggers anyways, even if you buy the, the crappiest one. Um, but, this thing looks pretty wicked. Um, you can buy some Rock Islands that look a lot like this today, um, but none of them are gonna be full of Wilson parts. So um, I was able to get this gun uh, pretty cheap. This is the nine mil, um, which, which I like a lot. Um, so I've got all 45 and all nine mil, um, half and half kind of on the ones that I have. And, and I, I like the nine mil a lot, but but uh, it, it does good. I put a lot of work into it now and, and I'm curious to see how it's gonna shoot. I did do a function test with it uh, when I first got it uh, and I, I didn't film that, but uh, we will uh, see how it does. So I'm, I'm kind of excited to shoot it for the first time. All right. The slide stop. That first mag did not want to hold. It drops back down. Uh, I did check it a few times just to make sure everything was good. Thing seems fine. Um, that might be a mag problem, but this is a Wilson mag, which is pretty good. Now I've got a Kimber mag. We'll try that one. See how it does. So that one did lock back. It uh, got a little bit stuck going in that one time. Um, I did work on the rails a little bit and uh, try to clean them up a little bit more. Uh, but it's now super tight. I mean, this is as tight as you would get uh, a newer gun. 
and uh, it probably just needs some rounds put through it now. <laughs> now that it's got all new parts in it. So, at least those are my excuses. So that one went flawlessly. That was a Colt mag and uh, ran through fine, no issues there. So it's doing really good. You can see how new this thing was when I got it. I mean, it's just now starting to rub through just a little bit where the bushing goes. Um, cool. That's it. Uh, gun did great. Um, and I realized, I think that I was coming up off of the, the beaver tail a little bit in the way I was trying to hold. So uh, instead of me putting my hand on top of the safety, I've got big long hands. So if I'm resting on the safety like this, I'm not actually pushing the beaver tail in all the way. So I'm gonna have to go up under it like this a little bit so I can squeeze in that beaver tails. I feel like it was holding me up just a little bit in that first mag or so so but this mag ran through perfectly so that was good this is the uh, metgar mag uh from the taurus but uh yeah it did did well so that is it